Hey guys, how are you doing today? This beautiful Saturday. Well, I'm doing something a little different today. I'm going to a plant swap. One of my coworkers was telling me about a plant swap that was going on. So let's take you along. I'm back from the plant swap and now we're gonna take a look at my house plants that I have I think I have about 15 house plants let's take a look all right here we go so this is right in front of the window I bought this first one from Home Depot and actually the first one that I bought I repotted it and this is one of those types of plants that you cannot repot you have to actually Keep it in the same pot and then just maybe put it in a decorative pot and so the first one that i had it it died so i went back and got another one and this one has been doing so great you usually have to water it about every four to five days and when i go on vacation i'm always worried but it'll definitely let you know when it is ready to water and then this one over here I got this one about four and a half years ago, almost five. So this was the first plant that I had. And you can see there's a little one. So I have two in one on that one. And I'm trying to get better with, cause it's like the, I think at one point I was maybe overwatering it. So I'm still getting better. Okay, now this one, this one I actually, rooted it and planted this one myself i had got a piece from work and so that one is growing and this one i am so excited about this one guys look how big this has gotten i actually my mom was rooting this one in a and i planted it and look how big it has gotten and then this one over here this one I've had for about four and a half years as well. So this one, like the other one, it's possible that I was overwatering it, but you can see how much it has grown. And I'm just learning so much about plants over the last few years. You know, which ones you have to water every four days or which ones that you don't need to water as much. All right, we're outside now where I think these are African violets. And I just wanted to see if putting them outside would give them a better, uh, to be able to grow faster. And this one, this one today, it had actually bloomed, but... I think the sun got to it and it burnt it out. So I'm going to have to wait. And then this one. There it is. Look at that. Look at that. This one is called a forget me not. I got this one in April. And I just planted it maybe like two or three weeks ago. And it's already growing. That is so cool. 
this is a forget me not as well but i guess i forgot and it's been so hot here in nashville and so because it had it had bloomed so we're gonna have to start from scratch from there and this one look at that look at that so exciting so that's four out here and then i had grew all right guys let's see what i got from the plant swamp i got a aloe and a lucky bamboo let's take a look all right here we go so first here is the lucky bamboo and i have two lucky bamboos at the inside but they're not in dirt they're just in water and so this is going to be very interesting my first bamboo in water and next we have aloe now this one is still rooting so she told me just to water it in a few days and maybe wiggle it around to because see it's still rooting so i'm just going to keep it in the dirt for a little bit before I plant it. So I'll let you guys know how that journey is going. I still ended up coming home with the plant that I actually took because she said that I could just take um, that aloe. I didn't have to swap. And then when I went to the second plant swap, I ran into one of my coworkers and she told me I could just have that bamboo. And so I ended up coming back home with the original plant that I have. And technically, I don't know what the name of this one is, but technically this one is not a house plant. It should really be planted outside in the dirt. Now, originally I had tried to plant one in the front yard, but the sun is so bright on that side that it just burnt it up. And so I really need to plant it in the back. And then that way, it'll bloom but I guess I'm just hard-headed and I was still trying to plant it in the planter but it's technically not a house plant but it still grows but once it gets to a certain point then it um, it dies and I can show you I can see if I have some pictures of the one that I actually grew all right here are a few of my plants that are gone but not forgotten so here's this first one where i was saying technically it's not a house plant you're supposed to plant it outside and this one i had it at my desk at work and it was growing and growing <laughs> but once it gets to a certain point it just dies because it's not a house plant and then second i have my sunflower so i actually grew this sunflower um at my front porch and it is so beautiful i was so excited and so happy if you want you should follow me on my instagram page i am tasha and i usually put a couple more pictures on there and you can see where when i first planted it and then it almost died it almost wilted away and then i started watering it more and then it ended up blooming i was so excited so follow me on i am tasha and you can see a couple extra pictures. But thanks so much for watching. This was my first plant swap. I was so excited. It was fun. I think there's going to be another one in October. So I'm looking forward to that one. Thanks for watching.